Klitschko, a man who perhaps in terms of the boxing fraternity rivals the popularity of Dennis Andrews. We all have respect for Andrews' achievements. Official date of birth, the 5th of November, 1953. A little bit of um, a dig at Andrews. Would you respect to him on his way to the ring tonight to the tune of the Beatles, When I'm 64, knowing Dennis, he has an ambition or two to fight up until the time he gets his pension book. And who would argue with him, the three-time former WBC light heavyweight champion? He's thrilled us so often. But now here he is tonight defending his British com uh, cruiserweight title for the first time against Terry Dunstan, a very talented boy. Let's join the action in round eight, and as we join our commentary team, Andres has a little bit of work to do. Coming out for round eight. I've not got an awful lot in here at this point. Maybe Dunstan just ahead. What do you think, Barry? Yes, I have. Uh, I have Dunstan just a shade ahead, but Dennis will come on strong in the later rounds, and this is where his experience will come in, because... There is Barry's scorecard. He has... Uh, Dunstan around ahead, that's exactly the way I have it as well, and we're not colluding, I can tell you that. No, and uh, I really think that as this fight gets into the latter stages, this is where Dennis, despite his age, his experience will come in, into good use, and Dennis will start sweeping in those hooks, and uh, as Dunstan slows down, he's starting to get nailed more often, and he's got to hold on, suck up, and use those quick punches, and just try and keep out of the way, and get the punches off quickly keep moving like that he's slowing down and Dennis is going to start nailing him pretty soon let's see if that happens there he does with a right hand it was rather a glancing blow didn't really quite catch him flush otherwise it might have been a bit different Dunstan's okay and he's done a lot of sparring with the heavyweights and notably Bruno as Terry Dunstan yes but the disadvantage of that is that Andrews will be substantially quicker than Bruno and of course he'll be more difficult to hit himself the jab from Dennis Andres the veteran wades in again yeah Dennis is starting to come on strong now this is better stuff from him and Johnson is beginning to show fatigue and show tiredness. He's dropping his gloves a bit as well, which is always a sign, isn't it? Yeah, he was doing that a couple of rounds out, but now there's a, there's a marked difference. They're down lower for longer. And Dennis is getting dangerously close to the target area with every one of those big sweeping right hands around the side. Dunstan has got to stay mobile and busy. And that's nice little combinations from him. But there's a solid composed look about Andres no sharp signs at all of him tiring he's always in peak condition has lived the life monastically he's having to reach every time with, uh, with Dunst he's having to really jump up at him with those big shots to the head particularly when he tries to match his jab He's having to jump up and expose his chin. And this is where Dunson should be capitalizing. When he makes Andrews miss, he should be making him pay for it. Last few seconds of this round. Andres goes for it again with the left hooks. Dunstan still looks. Oh, good right hand. He's in trouble. He was just shaken up by that. That's a slip by Andres, which is a pity for him because he couldn't follow up the attack. But the right hand just stunned Dunstan for a moment. Well, well, well. Was that the start of something big for Dennis Andres? I think so. Yeah, he really stunned. And there was that vacant look about his face. And And Andres had a tremendous opportunity. Then he fell over. He lost his balance and fell over. But there's no doubt he hurt Terry Dunson with that right hand. Tremendous shot. And as I say, a gaunt look in his face. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, it's a short little right hand, wasn't it, from Andres? Yeah, he pulled away from the shot. Missed him with the left. And he popped over the right hand. Bang! And you see it again from a different angle. Turned him right round with that shot, and there's definitely the hands dropped. Let's it's have a look a pity, at the way. It's a pity it was near the end of the round from Andrews. Oh, point yeah, absolutely. And look at Dunson looks really hurt there. And has he recovered? That's the question. Ninth round here. Now, was a minute long enough? 
for Terry Johnston to get over that knockdown. Well, not a knockdown, but the fact that he was stunned right at the end of round eight. Andres here, the old pro that he is, will know this might be a moment for him in the fight. Can he exert the pressure again? Or has Dunstan's head cleared? Was it just a momentary thing? Well, he, he'll, uh, he will have done well to have recovered in 60 seconds. It, it takes more than that to recover. And can Dennis pin him down and hit him again with some of those big clubbing punches? Breathing a little more heavily now, Dunstan. Distinct uh, tiredness about him, and I'll tell you, if my money, if we were to take a bet at this stage, I'd be putting my money on Andres. Andres looking for right up because he's on the right hand, got through. From oh, him. he's hurt again. He really is hurt again, and you can see that shook look about his eyes, and he's in trouble. There's plenty of time left in the round. Solid, meaty shots. Oh, that's a good little short left cross almost from Dunstan. Oh. Andres is getting through with more now. Yeah, he's he's got him. running out of petrol here. He really has got him in trouble here, Ian. The legs shook and he's fell back against the ropes. And, and he's really coming on strong. And it's only the ninth round. There are three more after this. As Andres made the vital breakthrough. Dunstan now is presenting more and more of the static target. And there's a kind of desperate look about that work from him. The gloves have gone down again. Andres has the look in his eyes of the cool, calculating man who may feel now that he's on the verge of getting the job done again. Or is he? And two little looks to the referee from him. Yeah, he was pushed off balance. That's why he looked at the referee. But, yeah, he's rolling here at this stage. He's got Dunson in big trouble. And has he got enough left in those 41-year-old 41 41-year-old legs to be able to step up another gear that's what he needs to do he's got this guy in big trouble can he finish him i wouldn't put any money on dennis andrews running out of gas i tell yeah. you he's one fifth cookie i'll tell you yeah well there's been a real switch oh that's a good straight right though from dunstan yeah, super he's not finished right yet no way he's coming back Andres is really letting the leather fly now. I feel sure that if Dennis lands another one of those big sweeping punches, it could be the end for Dunson. Well, there's Terry Dunstan. He's breathing heavily there. That was the first time he'd ever had to fight in a ninth round, of course. So he is now in new territory. Indeed, yes. And he, he finished the round well, but he started it off looking very shaky indeed. Mm. What do you think, looking at him in the corner? What's your verdict, Barry? You know, I, I, my money would be on Andres at this stage. He's looking, uh, he's looking better. and uh, He's just, in my, on my scorecard, gone ahead now by a round. And uh, I think he looks the fresher of the two and he's got the more experience and he's just stronger in the corner with him oh, by the way howard rennie and arthur Ari, and there with uh, andrews is carlton peru <laughs> start of the 10th round there three rounds left nine minutes and i just had a look at Dunstan's legs as he came out at the start of round 10 and he didn't look he didn't look good, he looked a little bit shaky. And that equilibrium and balance is not what it was in the earlier rounds. He definitely hasn't shaken the effects of those hard punches in the previous two rounds from Andres. This is Andres' chance of being able to subdue this guy. This fight is following the kind of pre-fight script we thought with lots of elusive mobility from Dunstan early on. But Andres wearing him down, the old abrasion and erosion from the British cruiserweight champion and the former world champion. The massive experience and miles on the clock of Andres against the youthful ambition of Dunstan. Yes, and the fluid movement and quick reflexes of... Oh, good right.
right hand again from Dunstan. He's landed two solid punches in the last 10 seconds there. So he's still in here firing. And the fight is tight, I would think, on points. Yeah, as I say, I have it. Unofficially, I have Andres ahead. But, you know, there's plenty of time left for Dunstan to be able to turn it around. Oh, and he goes again, wading in with a left hook on that. I think Dunstan felt the weight of that one. He's on the ropes there and wants to buy some time if he can. The left hook just shook him up for a moment. He, his head's cleared now. Yeah, he comes firing back every now and again, but it does look worrying for him when, he, when he's backed up on the ropes by Andres. Well, Dennis Andres dreams of doing a kind of George Foreman and becoming a world champion all over again in his 40s. Dunstan landed some good solid punches here and uh, he's taking a break himself, the referee waved him on. He's a, this is another bad position for Dunstan to get himself into. Yeah, he doesn't need to be here, he's shown that he can fight from the centre of the ring and that's what he should be doing. It begins to look though as if Andres has kind of taken his legs away. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Yes, indeed. He's, uh, he's got much better chance. Johnson, when he keeps in the centre of the ring, he's got more movement to get back and movement to move out of the way. And he can land good, powerful, snappy punches himself again. He's still quicker. His reflexes and his, his ability to avoid Andres is much better when he gets in the centre of the ring. And there's Andres now, just getting a wee bit more tired himself. I'd love to have a little sneak look at the referee's scorecard. I think Andrews has just slowed up a little bit in the second half of this round. Yeah. He's doing less now. I think that's just lifted Johnson a bit too. Hard to score that round. I have to give it even. It's an easy way out, of course, but... Pretty, pretty difficult to separate them. We'll let you off, Barry. That's all right. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks you're allowed even rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I know they frown on it in America. Of course, that's interesting that we were talking about that last week. Um, the Americans might score this more heavily towards Andres. They like the walk-in pressure fighters there, don't they? Yeah, they, they do have a, 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 a tendency to favor guys who are aggressive and the swarm forward. And even though they may have been picked off, they do like the guys to come forward and show that they're going to initiate the attacks and be aggressive. There's Barry's scorecard. He has Andres one round ahead, or half a point to translate it for you. Two rounds left. Fascinating one. Okay, Eleventh round, last minute words from Howard Rainey for his charge. Terry Dunstan would be a big, big win for him if he could lift this British championship and have the name of Dennis Andres on his uh, list of victims, but can he? Oh, oh, beautiful right hand, the legs are gone again. Dunstan looks in trouble again. It's been a good effort this though from Dunstan, and yeah. he's still right in this fight, I think. There's no doubt about that. Landing some quality punches here, too, and has snapped Andres' his head back several times in the last two rounds. A good right hand again. So he's turned it around in the last round. And he's just getting a bit of a second wind, I think, Dunstan. There's a great right uppercut about a quarter of a minute ago from him. Oh, he's getting through to Andres here. Now then, round 11. Oh! Explosive shot. This is Dunstan's round so far. Yeah, well on top at this stage. The danger is that he will come forward and think he's hurt and doesn't walk on to one himself. But he's definitely winning this round. Andrews won't worry. He's seen it all before, of course. He's fought every kind of style you can imagine. Watch that shot. Dunstan has come back at him in round 11. He did look up about five minutes ago as if Andres was really taking control of the fight, but there's been a little mood shift again since then. And those legs suddenly look to have a bit more spring in them once more. Yeah, good right hand again from Dunstan. He's doing the right thing here. He's been as mobile as possible, switching positions, but every time he stops, there's 
chance that Anderson comes sweeping over Uwe with those big clubbing punches. He's got to keep his head moving as much as he can. But without a doubt, he's winning this round, Ian. I think Andres has just tired a little bit, but then he comes on strong with that volley of punches. Every time Dunstan stays on those ropes and hangs it out there, it's not a clever place for him to be. Easy saying it from here, of course. Yeah, it certainly isn't a clever place to be. He should not stop for any more than a second or two because that's when De Dennis can tee off. Good work from him here. He's, in my opinion, clearly won this round up to now, but anything can happen in this game. All it takes is a fraction of a second. Showing good composure, Dunstan. Fighting heart and character. He's acquitted himself well, whatever the result now. Well, there are three minutes left. And I don't think there's too much doubt that Terry Dunstan here won that last round. That was uh, a big comeback round for him. Now then, let's have a look through, Barry. How have you got it now? With, with I have a dead even good into the last round dead even there we have it 107 and a half 107 and a half done some, done some beautiful work in this round Ian beautiful snap on the right hand snapped down to his head right back picked his punch as well kept himself mobile all good stuff from him just what he needed at this stage I tell you what if Dunstan does win this um Barry Hearn's matchroom camp are going to feel a bit sick. They jettisoned him, and he moved over to Frank Warren. And there you have it, an ideal scenario. Twelfth and final round. They touch gloves in what's been a tight old contest with mood swings. Andres, who may sense he may be just a tad behind, possibly charging for it, going for it. It could easily depend on these last three minutes. Yes. Only the referee, of course, scores it, Paul Thomas of Derby. Well, that's the way I have it. It all depends on the last round. And that's an ideal situation for both of these guys. They'll give it their all in the last round. And you know that Andrews will come out roaring. Tell you what, whatever happens, whatever the result, there's going to be a few arguments at the end of this, because whoever loses it is going to argue that they won it. And that's the, the way of it. Very often in professional boxing, Andrews has made a much, much better start in the opening half minute of his last round. Does Dunstan feel he's already done enough? That might be an unwise policy to uh, bank on it. Oh, right hand around the side of the head. That can sometimes scramble the senses of it. He certainly can. A punch to the side of the head is far more damaging, in my opinion, than a punch to the chin. You lose control of your legs, and you wonder why they're not behaving the way they should be. This is a much better round for Andrews. This could be the winning round for him. He's walking through Dunstan a little bit to get his punches through as well, Andrews. He's quite prepared to take that gamble. British Cruiserweight Championship on the line at his age. Andre certainly can't afford a defeat. This is some effort, isn't it, for a 41-year-old. Tremendous stuff. Tremendous stuff. The man who defies all the rules. Dennis The Rock Andres. Is he on the way to defending his title here? Did Dunstan do enough with his fancy skills? We'll soon know. been a good one. Well, oh, it's been a tremendous battle. It really has, and I think Dunstan has done real credit to himself. He's put up a brilliant show. It looked a couple of rounds back like he wasn't going to get through this fight, and he's turned it around, and it's, as I say, it's all even in the last round. In my opinion, Andres is ahead at this stage, so Dunstan needs to finish extremely strongly to, to even get a share of the... Andres is having as good a last round as Dunstan had in the 11, and that's the way it's been. Rather like a Good book, the plot changing, twisting, turning. This is where Dennis's tenacity and, and real grit comes into it here. He knows he has to win this round. 
and that's what he's doing. There will be those, of course, who argue that when it's a tight one, the champion should hold on to his crown, but it's just counter, really, the way the referee scored it. Good uppercuts and yeah. punches has Andres won it at the end. What? No, no. He's given it to Dunstan. Yeah. Dunstan is the new champion. Andres can't believe it. Paul Thomas gives it to Dunstan, who I must say is very subdued for a man who's just won his first British championship. Yeah, I'm slightly surprised. I thought that Andres had done enough to win it. He's got out of the ring and he's walked away in disgust. Dennis Andres. Well, Barry thought he'd done enough and uh, it was, I think, pretty tight, but I think Andres had just done enough as well. And I don't know whether uh, Dunstan himself thought the same the way he reacted. Yeah, he's... Uh He's a bit tired, obviously, and a bit unsure of the whole situation, but I think that's a, another satisfactory ending. I think Andrews deserved to win it. His efforts over the last half of the fight, in particular in the last round, deserved him to, to retain his title. Well, the story here is that Dennis Andrews has walked off in disgust, and Terry Dunstan has caused the upset here in only his ninth professional fight. He is the British cruiserweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Paul Thomas has scored the contest. Dennis Andres, 117 points. Terry Dunstan, 118 and a half points. The new cruiserweight champion of Great Britain, Terry Dunstan. And so it turns away from Dennis Andres on this occasion. And Nicky, we saw he wasn't too happy about the decision. Did he have a cause for complaint? I don't believe so, no. Uh, you can vouch for the fact that I scored it exactly as the yes, referee scored it. Three rounds to um, Dunstan. The coverage was slightly unfair to Dunstan there because he won all the early rounds. He was by far the better boxer. And uh, Andrews is great. He's tremendously strong for his age. You know, they can guarantee that's one man that won't be going to the post office for his pension. Most dangerous question in this job. Will Dennis Andrews come again? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't like to say no, but uh, I think he's past it now. I really do. He's very strong. And against the likes of a young man like Dunstan, no chance.